Ball Spawn aren't gonna stop us. This is a whole new planet. Feast your eyes on Wapow! And why are you talking weird again? Oh, hi. Tia here. We're really here on a brand new world! Water as far as the eye can see. It's almost like the whole planet was flooded. This planet sure has a strange composition. I wonder if this is because of the fall spawn. Speaking of which, do you think it's okay to just leave that dark falls out there like that? We have our orders, right? And I'm sure they'll declare a state of emergency if need be. Just not a priority right now. Plus, there's an Ark's distress signal coming from this planet that can't be ignored. No, right. Yep, yep. What's a distress signal doing coming from a place like this, though? You know, I feel like this is a lot like what happened back on Navarius. I bet that's exactly why the order went out to everyone instead of just a small team. Anyway, the search is still on, and the enemies around here sure seem tough, so be careful. Well, well, well! Hello, hello, hello! Still alive and kicking, are you? You remember me, right? Risa? This place is so bizarre and wonderful that I can barely contain my excitement! Can't you feel it? Please tell me you can! There's this wonderfully weird feeling in the air, don't you think? The baddies here, they attack like usual, right? But when I shoot them, it's just like... Oh, how do I put this? It's like I'm shooting a practice target, but that target has a will of its own! Oh, it's really just invigorating! It's as if this whole place is just full of targets that run around and cry in pain! It's like a dream! Now then, I can't stand around chatting. I need to return to my life's calling. Ta-ta for now! here too <laughs> what do you think do I make a good hunter I figured I'd do my best to act as a substitute for Zeno until he returns and no I'm not losing it I'm not faking it either I stand before you now because I really am serious about this that said, I'm still pretty green, so I'll probably trip you up along the way. I'll try my very best not to, though. Anyway, word has it there's an SOS signal being sent to Arx from somewhere on this planet, yeah? I took a quick look around and didn't see anyone who seemed to be caught between a proverbial rock and a hard place, though. Still, I don't know what it is, but this place feels weird. Even time feels like it's not flowing normally. But hey, I guess we'll figure everything out once we've explored every last nook and cranny, right? All things in due time. I'll catch you around. Bye-bye now. Hmm? Oh, are you an ARX operative? Me? Yeah, same. The name's Eo. Nice to meet you, boss. What? Don't people call you that? I don't see why they wouldn't. I only just got set up as an operative the other day, so you're way above my pay grade, yeah? There you go. Boss it is. Oh, these? These aren't really all that weird, right? It's the mark of any Dumon. Look, my eyes are even different colors, too. You want to see my marking, too? Come on, boss. I can't just reveal that out here. Oh, don't give me that face. Look, I know there are people around here who like to show off as much skin as possible, but not me. 
I think I've got two pieces of evidence right here that should point out that I'm for real. I'll see you around then, boss. Hey there! Or, um, should I say nice to meet you for the first time, I suppose? I'm Azanami, by the way. So hey, tell me, have you tried out our new class yet? I'm talking about the braver class, of course. And, uh, no, I don't want to hear your opinion on the name. I thought long and hard on it, okay? It's the first class to excel in both ranged and melee combat alike. Up close, you draw your katana for a quick strike. And when you're far away, you focus and take aim with your bow. And that's that. Take it from me. I know best. I created this class after all. It wasn't easy, let me tell you. It was hard to get people to see just what's so great about it. I had to show off all my tricks, run mock battles, and fill out more than my fair share of paperwork to get my application through. Then I had to work alongside the officers to map out skills for the class before I could stand here in front of you, as I do today. I'm a bit of a late bloomer myself, see? So I have to jump through a few hoops to get some attention. It sure isn't easy. But it's pretty fulfilling, and it gives me something to do at least. Plus, it doesn't just help me out, but everyone else too, right? A win-win if you ask me. Hey, did you turn up anything? Because I certainly didn't. Forget any signs of people, the signal itself is even cut off completely. Do you think it was just a false alarm? A wonky signal? What's this all about now? First I hear voices, and then I come out here to find people completely different from who I'm really after? Huh? Wait, where did that voice come from? Down here, you dimwit! No, wait, wait! What? Jeez, that's cooler with the melodrama, okay? Uh, how is this enemy talking? Look out! We need to take this thing down! Whoa, now! Relax there, Missy. I'm not your enemy, okay? Not your enemy. The name's Cabra Khan, and I live here. Capiche? Now just settle down, girly. Sheesh! <laughs> what the heck are you? You're so gross! Look who's talking! You're not exactly nature's finest specimen yourself. Why are you so, so slimy? No, stop! Stay back! Didn't anyone ever teach you to not make fun of the way other people look? You could learn a thing or two from your friend here. Jeez, here I was thinking I'd find the one I was after, but instead I come face to face with the rudest lady in the universe. You were looking for someone? I was. You seen him? A cutie that looks just like me, about yay high? Uh, yeah, no. I've never seen anything as gross as you in my entire life. And that's even taking into account my time with Xeno. Watch your mouth! Forget it. You fools are no help to me. Sorry for spooking you. I'll be taking my leave. That was a native of this planet, wasn't it? If no one's ever supposed to have been here before, how come it spoke our language? Are you off to battle now, too? I'm off to look for this fella's friends for the umpteenth time. Hey, I don't recall ever asking you for any help now, Missy. Anyway, I wonder where I should search today. I know you can hear me, okay? Sheesh. Whatever. 
Seeing as how you're already here and all, you want to join us? If I'm being honest with you, heading out with just this gal here has got me sweating bullets. Well, that's not very nice. Oh, yeah? How about I tell him about a little recent misadventure then, hmm? So, hey, since our little friend here seems so insistent, why don't you come along? Great. I'd be glad to have you around any day. We could even leave this little lady here behind if you prefer. You're gonna eat your words one of these days. Not around as usual, I see. Hmm. You're not gonna go any further? There's some scary monsters that live up ahead. If we wind up having to deal with them, we could end up in serious trouble. No need to worry. We're with you, and we can handle just about anything. Or rather, our friend here can handle it. Not you, yeah? much noise. Whoa, have a look over there. Ah, oh, it's Camelot. What are you doing there? Probably got lost or something, right? But that's not important right now. We gotta get your friend out of here. You'll draw their attention while you get your friend to safety. S seriously? I can't ask you to do something that dangerous. There are times when you gotta do what you gotta do, regardless of the risk. And this is one of those times. Emergency! Code! Attack! to shove you guys sure can handle yourselves no need to thank us are you oh, it looks like you're okay yeah Camelot and I are lively as ever as you can see well that solves the mystery of the distress signal we must have set off the transmitter while we were lost but why is an Arx device here in the first place? That seems strange. Maybe someone dropped it? Say, Missy? Thank you. I mean it. Huh? Oh, uh, no big deal. I didn't really do much anyway. That's not even remotely true, you know. You might not be very strong. You're selfish and scatterbrained. And I can hardly stand your enthusiasm. That's not helping. But I see it now. You were doing your best to look for my friend and found him for me. So, you should hold your head up high and know that I'm grateful. I swear. But don't let it get to your head. We're not the only victims here, so you got more work to do. Whoa! Watch it! What are you doing, moron? Sorry about that. There was an enemy right next to you. You were clearly aiming for me. Shut up! Get out of here! I found your friend for you, so just take them and go! I planned on it, but boy, did I make a mistake being grateful to you. Thanks, regardless. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah, I'm 
beat. We should probably head back too, yeah? Sense these fall spawn too? Their presence is extra strong today, but I don't really see the numbers to explain it. Something's weird. Real weird. I mean, I'm sensing this really massive amount of fall spawn energy concentrated here. Maybe they're just further up ahead, or deeper below. Hiding behind something, maybe? But whatever. All we need to do is take them all out, right? What do you say? Care to join me? Eradicating fall spawn is always a fun endeavor, right? so bright and cheery, always picking me up when I was down, or knocking me down herself when I had it coming. I mean, maybe she did more of the latter, really. She was always getting mad at me. I really miss her voice, her face, what I give to just see her again. of them. All of this is their fault. to work with some more experienced ops who always bossed me around. But ever since I started holding my own in solo missions, they've kept their mouths pretty much shut. In fact, they don't even come out with me anymore. Or even stay in contact, really. Talk about self-centered, right? They're the ones who made me understand our mission was to eradicate these fall spawn without mercy or reserve. Are you worried about me? You don't need to be. I won't let myself die until there's not a single fall spawn left alive. If those fall spawn had never attacked the Ark ship, if they had never shown up where she was, in front of our non-combat support crew... But no. It's not their fault. If I had just wiped them out... Before... 
before they made it that far. It never would have turned out like this! Is something the matter? We should get moving. I'm sensing fall spawn up ahead. We'd better make haste and finish them off. Well done. Truly. Surprised to see you take them out so effortlessly. You're here too. Have you come here at Xi'an's behest? I'm not sure what they are planning. But no matter. They are too late. Nevertheless, I want nothing from you. I'm more interested in our young friend over there. What's with you? I don't have the time for a leisurely chat right now. I've got more Valspawn to execute. Magnificent. Truly magnificent. Aren't you just the model Arcs operative? The Valspawn are obstructing my plans as well, which is why I'm offering to help you dispose of them. You're quite strong, but in the end, one person's strength can only yield so much. Do you not wish to be greater? To obtain power that dwarfs even the Council of Six? Power to kill. Power that would enable you to kill everything you wish. Power... that would let me kill anything. I'm a man of many enterprises, so I can't just wait around while you make up your mind. It was only on a whim that I summoned you. If you can't decide now, I'll be on my way. Wait! Don't just up and decide on your own that I haven't made up my mind. Hmm? No worries. I mean, part of being an Ark's operative is getting stronger. I will become stronger. Stronger than anyone. It's the only way I can avenge your death. I swore to myself that I'd get so strong that she'd forgive me. I'm sure that she's looking down on me from beyond, smiling. Don't glare at me like that. He made his own decision. And isn't someone that would respect such an important decision someone you would call a friend? <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me.
Should I not be able to see them? I don't mind that she can see me. She's nothing like Luther. She has a connection to me, like you. So of course she can see me. It's only natural. Man, it's hard to put into words. But even though I've never met you before, there's something very familiar about you. Best not to dwell on it for now. When the time comes, you'll come to understand everything. Oh? I guess if you say so, it must be so. Okay. You believe in me once more? Or rather, did you never stop in the first place? Sure, I believe in you. After all, it's someone you believe in. I appreciate it. Everything you did back then. Saving her. The only reason we're alive now is because of what you did. Your deeds gave us a future. All that's left is the cosmogenic arms. But more important than that, I must express my thanks to you for saving her. It's odd. It feels like she's there, but feels like she's not. But she has a warm feeling about her, like when I first met you. I'm sure things have been hard on you so far, and you've even harder things to face ahead. But no matter what happens, always know that I believe in you, and that I'll always be with you. <laughs> <laughs>